One of the things I'd like to bring up today is some concepts of leadership. And what we're trying to do is explain what is exactly the leadership component of the management skills. Because there's four parts to management, you know, planning, organizing, leading, and controlling. Leading is one of the fundamental aspects of getting something done or accomplished to achieve a greater goal that everybody is amenable to. So what you're looking at is, you're looking at how to influence people to achieve a common goal. And that is the basic definition of leadership itself. Now, what are some of the components that we'd like to discuss about leadership? Well, you're not just one style of leader, you're a myriad of styles, and you have to learn the basic tools of leadership itself. Just as its influence is the most important part, because that's the job, you're interested in knowing, are you going to be a pragmatic leader? Are you going to be an esoteric leader? Are you going to be in the middle of the road kind of leader? Are you going to be a hard person to, you know, to deal with? Or are you going to be a comfortable person to deal with? Do you have a laissez-faire attitude toward things? Or do you want to go ahead and be more authoritarian? Well, you can be all of that together. It depends on the situation, the people that you're managing and leading, and how expert are they? Now, some forms of leadership components will tell you that if you're an expert, people have, you achieve what's called referent power. Because I tell everybody that I meet that there's two reasons that people deal with others, and that is to achieve power and achieve money. So in achieving power and money, the leadership component is how do we reach that common goal? And it's influencing others through various methods, either making them feel powerful or making them feel good that leads them to think that they're powerful. So that's the kind of leader that would go ahead and have somebody come up and say, okay, let's collaborate. I want to collaborate with you. I want to make sure that the decision that we're making, you had input into it because you're going to implement those decisions in the past or in the future. If you want to achieve the money component of it, you have to pay people a certain amount of money in order to go ahead and achieve that common ground goal of getting things moving. So as long as everybody understands that, then we're, we have common place and we can achieve these phenomenal goals of what we're trying to get done. Don't be cheap and forceful, because all you're going to get is people burned out and you're not going to do, they're going to hate you. Right? At the same time, don't be so affluent in giving the money and expect little from people, because at that point, it's total, we just discussed that, is cognitive dissonance. 